We're going to multiply and divide decimals by powers of 10. And when we do this, I'm going to use a place value chart so that I can understand really what's happening when I'm multiplying and dividing. There are some patterns that we'll notice, and the patterns can allow us to do some shortcuts, but it's important to understand the concept of what's happening when we're actually doing the division. Let's start with 327 and 9 tenths and multiply it by 10. Write that into my place value chart, 327 and 9 tenths. Now when I multiply by 10, my number is going to get larger. And as I'm multiplying, each of my digits is going to move one place to the left on the place value chart. So 9 tenths is going to become 9 ones, 7 tenths, or 7 ones, excuse me, will become 7 tens, 2 tens will become two hundredths, and three hundredths will become three thousandths. Each of the digits will move one place to the left on the place value chart. So 327 and 9 tenths times 10 equals 3,279. Now I always like to understand a little bit more about my numbers, and so I'm going to talk just for a second about the value of these different digits. Three thousandths is 10 times greater than 3 hundredths. 200 is 10 times greater than 20. 70 is 10 times greater than 7 ones. 9 ones is 10 times greater than 9 tenths. It's important to understand our, um, what's happening with our numbers as we're multiplying by 10. Let's try a different problem. Let's go ahead and now multiply by 100. So let's um, try 56 and 4 tenths times 100. And I'll go ahead and put that into the place value chart. Place value chart is just a tool. And it's a great tool for understanding what's happening when we're multiplying by powers of 10. Now we're multiplying by 100. And because we're multiplying by 100, we're going to move each of our digits two places to the left on the place value chart. Each place value chart it goes up by a power of 10. Now I still have a decimal in here, so I have to put a zero placeholder in the ones place. So 56 and 4 tenths times 100 equals 5,640. Now when I talk about the value of the different digits, 5,000 is 100 times 50. 600 is 100 times 6. 4 tens or 40 is 100 times 4 tenths. So I can kind of look at the value of my different numbers. Now let's talk a little bit about some division. Um, let's go ahead and I'll start again with 327 and 9 tenths, but this time divide it by 10. Put it into my place value chart. Now when we're dividing by 10, our number's gonna become smaller. So instead of our digits shifting to the left, they're gonna shift to the right. One place value, because I'm only dividing by 10. So now each of my digits will shift to the right. One place value, and I still have my decimal. So 327 and 9 tenths divided by 10 is 32 and 79 hundredths can talk about the value of my digits. Three tens is one tenth the size of three hundredths. Two ones is one tenth the size of two tens. Seven tenths is one tenth the size of seven ones. Now let's go ahead and divide 56 and four tenths by 100. Start with 56 and 4 tenths. Now because we're going to divide by 100, our, each of our digits is going to move to the right two places on our place value chart. So each digit has to move two places. A little crowded here, but that's okay. And we still have our decimal point. So 56 and 4 tenths divided by 100 becomes 564 thousandths. Again, we can look at the value of our digits. 5 tenths now is 100th the size or value of 5 tenths. 
Six hundredths is one hundredth the size of six ones. Four thousandths is one hundredth the size of four tenths. So when we move one position to the left on the place value chart, our units get 10 times larger. We saw that up here. When we move two units to the left on the place value chart, we saw that here, we multiplied it by 100, our units become 100 times larger. When we divide, so we move when our digits are moving to the right on the place value chart, so when my digit moves to the right on the place value chart one position, it's becoming, it's like multiplying it by one tenth. It's becoming one tenth the size of the va value of the digit before it. And when we move two places to the right on the place value chart, it's like multiplying it by one one hundredth. It's one one hundredth the size of its original value. Now, all of um, this place value chart allowed us to see exactly what was happening, how the digits are moving to the right or the left, depending upon if we're multiplying or dividing. There's a pattern that's happening, and hopefully you've seen the pattern, and that's that we can look at our powers of 10, and when we look at our powers of 10, we can see exactly which way um, or how many places our digits are going to shift. So let's go back to our original problem, 320, 327 and 9 tenths times 10, and notice that we have one zero in our power of 10, and because we're multiplying our digits, we're moving to the left on the place value chart. But we often hear people say and talk about how, oh, when you multiply by 10, your decimal moves to the right one place value. And that's exactly the same thing as when the decimal's moving to the right, the digits are moving to the left. And so, and actually, let me circle my decimal over here because we're going to talk about the decimal moving. But in reality, the decimal's never moving the digits are shifting. We just talk about the decimal moving because when we're writing it, that's what we're doing. We're physically moving the decimal. Let's look at um, 56 and 4 tenths times 100. There are two zeros in 100. So now our decimal is going to move to the right two places, and we saw that, and we got 5,640. Again, the decimal didn't actually move, but when we're writing it, that's physically what we're doing. It's important, though, that we remember that the, in the concept that the digits are shifting. Let's go over to division. Now we have, um, when we divide, though, by a power of 10, we can still look at how many zeros are in our power of 10. In 10, there's only one. So now our decimal is going to move to the left one place value when you're dividing by 10. We saw that. And when we're dividing by 100, there are two zeros. So our decimal move to the left two place values, and we saw that. Again, the important thing to remember, even when we say the decimal's moving to the right or the decimal's moving to the left, the important thing to remember is that the decimal's not changing, but the digits are shifting. The digits are moving to the right or the left. So their value is either increasing or de decreasing.